Hello everyone, we are here in the Warsaw at the street Novogrodzka 15. This is uh, the place of uh, the Zaremba Tylers. This building exists since uh, 1894. We make uh, bespoke men's suits and currently run by Maciej Zaremba and he's the current owner of this business and uh, he got big plans so uh, let's go inside and uh, talk to him. Hi. Mace. My sweet. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Let's sit down. Thank you very much. Mr. Mace. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice, to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Uh, uh, he's the owner of the Zaremba Boutique. Uh, the Zaremba Taylor's family. Taylor's family uh, and uh, this is a very unique business and we're gonna ask him a few simple questions and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get some uh, nice answers. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so um, first question, is there a unique cut for the suits coming from Poland? Uh, like for example, um, uh, comparing to the suits coming from Britain or Italy, because every all the world knows about yeah. the Britain and, and Italy. So, what about Poland? What's what's unique about it? Um, I think right now it's uh, it's a mix of the British and and Italian style, uh, but uh, you have to know that that Poland have the big heritage of the craftsmanship. Uh, before the Second okay. War, we have a lot of. Uh, uh, shoemakers or, or tailors. Uh, so, um, of course, we uh, we have still the, our patterns from from twenties. Uh, so the cut was more British, uh, and I think it's uh, quite similar, la like in Italy, that that every everything begins in in England. Uh, but right now, yeah, the, our tailoring it's more softer. Uh, but it's like I said, it's a mix of classic and and a little bit more Italian style. Yeah, something something between that. Okay, so you more of a, like familiar more with with the Italian style than the British. Uh, yeah, I think yes. More similar. Uh, but but still, I I prefer more classic style. Yeah, so nothing fancy. I see. Okay, so very conservative. But still, uh, with, with the soft uh, touch. With the soft, yeah. I see. Nice, very nice. So um, I know by the book uh, um, Bespoke Menswear, this uh, this business has a very very unique uh, history. Uh, I believe this business survived the two world wars. So if you can tell us a little bit about this, this is very interesting history. Yeah, it's of course it's it's very very interesting and very important for me. Uh, because my family started in 1894 in Warsaw. Uh, they was doing the, the military formal work. Uh, and of course, the, the history of Poland is also interesting. Uh, so, and because of the, of, the, of the wars, we don't have like the straight uh, uh, informations. Uh, but uh, my grandfather's family, uh, uh, was doing uh, menswear suits uh, since twenties. Uh, they were they were working uh, like a brother Zaremba. Then before the second war, they split. So mm -hmm. there, there was two Zarembas uh, houses well known in Warsaw. Uh, so yeah, I think I think it's a quite a strong history, especially for the Polish in the Polish market. What happened to the previous one? The previous. Uh... Zaremba. Uh, yeah, the the older brother of my grandfather, he was much much older, so so he 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 died, uh, so, but he left of course uh, the whole know how and 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 he learned uh, my grandfather. You see, this is what I like, guys. You see, this classic, classic menswear. This also unique history. This is so. So nice. Yeah, we have here. Uh, we have a quite interesting uh, picture. This is from '27, and this is somewhere here. Uh, here it's uh, it's uh, the brother of my grandfather. Mm -hmm. So that was all tailors uh, from Warsaw. Yeah, that was like the, the the once a year they had a meeting. Yeah. So this is the unbelievable, great. Um, do most of your clients are coming from Poland or from abroad? 
Uh, of course, uh, we are based in, in Poland, so, so most of our customers are from Poland. Uh, but it, it, in last years it changed a lot, so like 30% are from abroad, yeah. Uh, and also our online sale, it's mostly, mostly abroad. Yeah. Nice. So what do you think, why, why now there's an uh, increase of the people coming from abroad? Is this, do you think it's because of the internet, the social yeah, networks? Yeah, I think, I think that helps a lot, yeah. So the social media, it's a very strong... Uh, uh, tool. Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. tool. Uh, also, our trunk shows in, in other countries, but, but first of all, I think the, uh, the internet, that you can show your work, your style uh, to everybody. Great. So, uh, what's your vision as, uh, as the one who carries this business, this, fa this family business? So what's your vision? to the future of this business? What do we intend to do in, in the far future? What do you want to get this business to be a wild world known? What is your uh, vision, your, 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 your great vision? Yeah, de definitely I, I want to keep the, the heritage. I want to keep the, the bespoke uh, tailoring uh, so that we, we don't want to change, for, uh, turn to the massive production. Uh, so I think this is the, the most important because Mm, this is what my family did many many years. So, uh, and this is what I love: yeah, the fabric, the handwork, and and everything. So, this is the most important thing. But around that, uh, I am very interested in the more casual, like the streetwear. So, we are trying to to do some mm, some more casual pieces that mix uh, the, the the handwork, the tailoring with the with the streetwear. streetwear so. Uh, we have some uh, some products like like Magnum jeans or uh, or our uh, handmade field jacket or, or safari jackets. So, nice. so this is uh, this is what I want to uh, do. It's around the bespoke uh, tailoring, uh, uh, give people more uh, more garments to wear during the weekend or something like that. Okay, so, so that you can keep your your menswear style. <laughs> Uh, after your work. Nice. So uh, to wrap this up, uh, do we have uh, some? Give a nice message to the viewers. If you have one message, I don't know. <laughs> one nice, I don't know. Whatever you want about style, about what's do you, what do you think it is to be a man today, and whatever you uh, want. I, f I think right now. Uh, some advice. Nice the, advice. The, the most important uh, for me and for my customers, it's it's that you have to keep your style. Yeah. Of course, you can use uh, tools like uh, suits or uh, fancy fabrics or classic fabrics, but the most important is to, to keep your style. Yeah. Nice. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Okay. Pleasure for me.